All right, so we have a lot of ranting. Really hope my phone doesn't fall. I have so much stacked up on this phone. Um, my sleeping schedule is so screwed up, as I'm sure many people that are out of work right now. Mine was always kind of screwed up, but I think it will, one, there's nothing for us to really do all day, so you're not burning any energy off. You know, whenever I would go to work, I'm constantly moving, so at least you're somewhat exhausted by the time you get home. Um, I think I fell asleep at 8 a.m. I woke up at 10 a.m. for some reason, exhausted, but my, and it's not even that I have anxiety. I had a bad anxiety attack the other day. Really didn't have any anxiety. I just can't sleep because you're just kind of like, not doing anything all day. I fell asleep for a couple hours. I woke up like 6 p.m. Because I woke up at 10 a.m. And then I think I fell back asleep maybe closer to 3. So I still didn't sleep for a huge amount of time. But it's like, what else is there to do? It's almost kind of an escape. I've had some crazy ass dreams. Uh, literally nothing to do with what's going on. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person, you know, I was already a really anxiety-ridden person. So... It's very strange because I did a video the other day, or it was a little bit ago, um, that I just never uploaded because I do that a lot, but almost whenever I sit down and start talking about it, I kind of get this weird thing in my chest where I get anxious because it's like I'm actually speaking about it out loud, you know? I'm having it, that's why my nose is runny, but um, I made a drink last night and I didn't even finish it, so I just put it in the freezer. I haven't been drinking at all. I think this is, I mean, I've been at home. I had a work meeting last Wednesday, um, but I haven't been because honestly, who wants to, I mean, I know it's funny and stuff, but like, I don't want to sit at home and get drunk by myself. It's fucking boring. And, but I was like, I really wanted to make a slushy. So this is my leftover from last night. It's more so for the ice. But it just, um, peach Amsterdam vodka. I really can't even taste it, but it's uh, cranberry juice, orange juice. And I put a Sprite of like diet Sprite or some shit, I don't know. But yeah, it kind of makes me anxious. Um, cause you know, at first, whenever this happened, it was kind of like, oh, you get a little bit of time off of work. Um, you know, that's kind of your first thought process, cool, whatever. But it's not, I mean... A couple days is whatever, but then it kind of sets in and it gets scary. Also, it's really fucking boring. I mean, and I'm not complaining. Like, I'm very blessed that I can stay home and be a fucking fat, lazy asshole and watch TV and just clean the house and make dinner, you know. But it's like, that that will contain you for about a week. Also, you know, we did last Wednesday. We were only out because I had to go to that work meeting. So we did run to Walmart because we had to get toilet paper. We didn't panic buy. Also, at the time, whenever this was all going on, everybody was freaking out. I was still at work finishing the weekend off and Matt works at the grocery store but everybody had bought everything up literally for that first week there was no toilet paper no produce no meat no paper towels so finally we got out got a roll uh, or a little package of toilet paper you know stuff for the week um but I mean it is eventually going to get fucked I mean I have absolutely no income right now and Matt's losing a lot of hours at the grocery store because they're closing the, the store um you know hours earlier so I just can't imagine what it's like for a household to have absolutely no income whatsoever and I don't know what's going to happen come you know a lot of, that's what a lot of people around here are worried about bills and rent like are they going to postpone it or you know because that's maybe you know most people around here can maybe make it through the month because it kind of hit us during the middle but I don't I don't see this you know clearing up and you know, two weeks, like poof, you know, and that's what me and my friend are talking about. How can you put a time limit on this? Um, obviously, you know, I think in Illinois, our state uh, or um, lockdown is till April 9th. But what does that mean? What does it matter? Obviously, if people are sick, and there's a 14 day incubation period, if you go out, you know, whatever. I, and for me, I have been so scared. And I am a big introvert. So I do love being at home. But it's that same thing where you're like, oh, you have to be at home that makes you want to go out. You know what I mean? And I'm the, me and my friend would go out every single night just because it's something to do. Like, there's already really nothing to do around here. I certainly, I don't even still feel comfortable taking walks around the neighborhood. I even thought like, ooh, with all this shit, maybe I can take a jog or a walk and nobody will fuck with me. I'm like, nah, I still don't feel safe doing that shit around here. I don't even, like I said before, don't like taking my trash can to the curb. Um, 
but it's not good for a lot of people that deal with anxiety and depression because we need to get out a little bit. I mean, yesterday I had to run to the store um, just for a couple basic things for food. But other than yesterday, I hadn't been literally outside, like walked out my front door for damn near a week. And so, like, that's not good. And I don't even, it's miserable, you know, for everybody. And I can't even imagine people that have to be in tiny, tiny spaces. I mean, it's everywhere. It's, you know, I almost feel, I feel fortunate, you know, right now considering the circumstances, but it's all, it's a fucking mess. Um, and whenever we had the work meeting, you know, they pretty much laid everyone off. I mean, obviously when this is all over and that's what I was concerned about. I'm like, well, after this is over, can I still come back to work? I didn't know. Cause I'm just stupid. I didn't know the whatever, but they were telling everybody, you know, go seek unemployment as fast as you can. I really want to say you can't catch me on the gingerbread man. I'm sorry. I don't know why I just was, I had to say it, but, uh, yeah. So they were, you know, both of my bosses were like, just go as fast as you can go, um, seek unemployment. It's going to be, you know, a clusterfuck. And my friend that's a waitress, she called on the phone. She's like, I had to call like 60 times, but finally got an answer. She's like, I got my benefits going, blah, blah, blah. And it was a substantial amount, you know, um, definitely for around here. But, and I'm not going to put her business out there because I, I, not that it really matters. But I ended up trying to file online and it said I would get like $50 and um, I put it to where I would still get taxes taken out because I don't want to, you know, if and when this clears up, hopefully by next year, when I do my taxes, I don't want to owe any money. So, but I don't think it ever went through because I got an email afterwards. It was like your online application didn't go through. It's because the system is fucked. I'm talking about like hundreds of thousands of people in the state of Illinois trying to file unemployment in the same day. You're, it's a miracle. You know what I mean? And to be honest, like I just rather people that have, and I'm not fucking mother Teresa, but I'd rather people that have children that really, really need that. Um, and don't get me wrong, uh, 45, $50 a week during this shit. I mean, that's groceries for a week, but I just kind of let it go. I'm not gonna, you know, it's terrifying. It's really fucking scary. Um, we all got our last paychecks for on the work meeting and I'm still trying to pinch that shit as tight, like squeezing my ass together as tight as I can for, you know, uh, groceries here and there, whenever we need it, because that's my income, you know, that's it. And it's terrifying. It's so fucking scary. And, uh, I mean, the restaurant's trying to stay open for pickup. Nobody, like, you know, it's 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 a bar area. So nobody's going to go just solely for food. I feel like I had other stuff I wanted to talk about in the video, but um, that's just how it's been, you know. I have no, I have started working out a lot more, but I still, my energy, it's just depressing, you know. And that's what worries me too. Like, I mean, I... Out of nowhere, I had a really bad anxiety attack the other day to where, like, my head just started pounding and my stomach hurt. Um, and I just got really scared and I laid down in the dark and just had to take deep breaths and kind of, like, put a cold water bottle on my head. And I didn't know what was going on because it's not like I had felt really any different that day. But it's, it's overwhelming and it's very sad for people, one, who... I I mean, I would ha rather be alone sometimes because I don't like pitter-patter around the house, especially when I'm anxious. I don't like to hear a lot of noises or like doors slamming and opening, you know, it, and that's what's really hard to be around somebody who doesn't have anxiety like that. But anyway, I got, I got through it. I breathed through my anxiety attack and that's what's scary. I haven't had one of those in a really long time and I don't, it's very, you, you're not control of your body. And I hate getting sick period. Um, because my biggest thing that causes anxiety, I think is not having control over what you're doing, you know, if you get sick, whether it's the flu or the cold, you can't just like poof that away. You can't breathe through that and you're completely better, you know, and it's, that's what I'm scared about. And, uh, you know, with Matt working at the grocery store, there's really no ginormous precautions I can take. I mean, I haven't stopped cleaning this house, doing laundry, washing my hands, I mean, everything, but he works with the public and I don't, you know, and I, I don't think this was bitchy and I would have done the same thing. Whenever I went out yesterday, I took a change of clothes and set it next to the side door. So whenever I walked in the door, I immediately stripped off my clothes that I had gone to the store with, you know, put my hair up in a ponytail, wash my hands and put the clean clothes on. So 
Matt got home the other day, and I guess at this point it's kind of redundant, you know, because he hasn't been doing this. But I kind of stopped. I'm like, hey, can you take your clothes off by the side door, throw them downstairs, throw them in the wash, whatever. And he got, like, offended by it. And it's not like, I'm not trying to offend you. I have severe fucking anxiety about this shit. Like, I mean, I don't want to overreact, but it's like, what do you do? Overreact or underreact? And he just got pissy with me. And I'm just like, you know what, whatever. You know, it just kind of makes you sad. And whenever you're pent up in the house all day, like humans are not supposed to be, like, it makes me emotional because I don't, I don't mean to be a bitch and I, um, I'm getting ready to start my period. Oh wait, I thought it was way too soon, but like, I already can't fucking sleep as it is. And if I start to drift off, you know, his computer room's on the other side of the house. And the, for some reason that door in there, if you close the door all the way, you have to like jerk it open and it's so fucking loud and it drives me insane. I'm just like, can you be any fucking louder? And that's what happens when you're stuck in the house with somebody. I don't care who the fuck you are. But he will jerk the door open and then be in and out of the bedroom every 15 minutes when I'm just trying to sleep. And I, I, I won't, I'm just like, hey, can you please be quiet? And it's either 50, it's either just like, it's never a nice response. It's like, can you, I don't, I'm not even saying it to be rude, but I'm just like, ooh, in, in certain ways, you're, not that we're together, but like childish. You know what I mean? I get everybody has fucking animosity right now. We're all pent up. But if I ask you nicely to be quiet and you stomp through the other room that literally makes me want to cry I don't know because it's it's almost like a it is like a fuck you but it also almost takes you back to being a kid I hate loud noises I can't stand it I grew up in a household that was so fucking screaming all the time so when it's quiet I like and I I jump over any noise I jump like if, if I hear a loud bang I'm just like oh you know, it freaks me the fuck out. So I think it's so fucking rude. And sometimes I am a fucking cunt. I'm a bitch. But if I'm just like, if I nicely say, can you please be quiet? Like, or make it a point to be quiet. Like, just, I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just rude. It's fucking rude to me. Um, and a lot of people are probably going to either murder each other, get divorced or pregnant during this. I don't know. It's weird because for me, I would be like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to get like, you know, hammered every day. Not at all. Like, I've been so the opposite. I clearly know that I'm drinking right now, but I, for the first week, my friend would just be like, oh, do you want to do something? And we've hung out like twice since then in the past two weeks, which is crazy. But he, like, I can't not, I, I don't know what to do. Like, that's why I said people that live alone, people with severe depression, I don't know how they're dealing with this, especially introverts that like, I don't, I don't want to Skype you or FaceTime you or talk on the phone. Like, I want to sit and speak to you in person and whatever. Um, yeah, it's just fucked. But I have been um, definitely getting more into my workout, which I feel better about. I've been lifting weights. I've been doing my um, weights with squats and leg lifts. Like my body was on fire for the past three days just because it's a lot of muscles. I haven't worked, so it feels good. So I've kind of gotten really into that routine, which I'm grateful for. But... It's scary because you just really don't know. Like, I'm worried too because even if this lockdown is over on the 9th, like, for me, I don't want to jump right back in to work. And I still don't think, to be honest, even if I were to go back to work on the 9th, we would get that many people because people are still going to be afraid. Most of our clientele at my job is older people. Like, over 50, like, definitely. The people that I serve on the on the dining room floor are well 65 and over the majority of them I don't you know I don't I've been out grocery shopping here and there and I don't want to be around people I don't want to god forbid make them sick and it's scary I think it's all like there's like I said so many conspiracies and so many theories that I mean that's all I have to say about that I, I mean I'm so sick of people being like I hope you're safe like obviously I hope you guys are safe but it, it sounds like there's like a Powerpuff Girl monster outside or something. I've been watching the Powerpuff Girls a lot, obviously, if you follow me on Instagram. Also, I'm so fucking sick of celebrities. I don't give a fuck. Quit posting that you're fucking bored. Quit asking for movie advice or what the fuck you should do. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I don't give a fuck if you're bored. I don't give a fuck. I'm so sick of seeing Ellen's fucking gnarly ass face with her fucking glass house and her giant ass pool in the back talking about how she's bored. Shut up. Like... I'm sure Ellen has donated all this money and I'm just PMSing. I'm sorry. 
Um, I guess I shouldn't be bitter and, you know, become a billionaire overnight. But honestly, I just don't care that you're bored. I don't care that you have a home gym and an Olympic sized swimming pool and 14 bedrooms and you don't have to go out to the store or do anything and whatever and hashtagging we got this whatever bitch shut up shut up like I don't I just don't give a fuck about like you don't give a fuck about me I don't give a fuck about you are we good cool um I'm gonna jump on our I'm just gonna like pause this and do a whole nother video I don't want to change I feel like I've had such bad OCD every time I put on an outfit I think that I have to check like it's I feel like people in this time have been way more wasteful than any other time anyway because I'm constantly washing clothes you constantly you're thinking you have to wipe everything down so you're wasting for paper products um or wiping everything down with towels having to wash them immediately constantly scrubbing dishes using you know more energy and water it's nuts you guys but I'm gonna jump off here because I wanted to do a video about Trisha and Foodie Beauty and that's it I hope you guys are well though and that's all I have to say um Yes. Well, I'll see you guys like literally in a second.